Mommy. Now, Mommy follows a recently widowed woman who has to take care of her destructive and violent son until a newcomer enters their lives and changes for the better. Now, this movie is written and directed by Xavier Delon. Now, a lot of people may not know about him, but a lot of people should. I've seen a lot of his movies, and I gotta say, this guy is one of the best writing slash directors out there today because he knows his characters. This is my fourth time seeing one of his movies, and this movie is no different from his other work. He knows how to write characters. That's his forte, honestly. And I gave you the synopsis of the movie, but like I, like I always say, I like when the movie has layers. And Xavier Delon, with his movies, his movies always have layers to them and it always makes you think about life and relationships. And Mommy, it's no different. Now, in this movie, this movie stars Anna Duvernet Duvel. Now, she's been in a movie called uh, I Killed My Mother, which he also written and directed, and that was a great movie too. But with this movie particularly, she had a lot more layers to her. She's a nonchalant parent, but at the same time you can see that she cared for her son in a different way. And that's what I like about Xavier Delon's characters, because is that it's, his characters are not just one note. His characters are flawed, but also you can actually go behind them at the same, get behind them at the same time. It's not like you roofing them, but at the same time, you kind of do feel sorry for them at some at some moment in the movie. And that's what I think makes great writing for a movie because not all characters you, you root for all the time. And not all characters are bad that you don't get behind. But there are characters that have flaws that are mixed between good and mixed between bad at the same time. It just shows that the way he writes his characters are just real life because not all of us are one note. Not all of us are all good and not all of us are all bad. We all have layers to us. We all have flaws that we show out in public and we all have flaws that we have deep down inside. And that's why I think Xavier Delon shines the most is, before, is the fact that he gets these characters. What also helps with the, with the characters is the fact that they have true, genuine relationships. And just like how Richard Linklater does with his movies, giving them a true, genetic, and authentic relationship, Xavier, Xavier Delon does that with his movies. And Mommy is no different because all these characters in his movies movies are flawed but at the same time they have complicated relationships and that's what I think a movie should have is strong relationships but yet complicated characters with flaws and he does that to a T because most movies today show that okay characters all in or all out they can be all good and all bad but with Xavier Delon he gives his char he gives his characters more to that he gives his characters a realism and authentic authenticness if that makes sense but that's why I cry. That's why I really like how he writes his movies. And the way he films this movie is different too, is because he films this movie in a particular box. I don't know what type of ratio it is, but it's different from what you normally see in a regular movie. But I think the way he films it also is also symbolic because the way he filmed it in certain scenes expands to a 16.9 frame. And in certain scenes he does that in, you kind of see why he did it for that reason. And I like the way he did it because it shows that it shows intimacy with the characters and also intimacy with the story as well. How things get bad and also how things get good. The way he writes and films this mother son relationship in this movie, I think most people can relate to. It's not just distant or unattached from other movies you see today, but you can actually relate to these characters and feel connected with them. And not a lot of movies can do that today. And that's why I think. Xavier Delon could be the next Richard Lickley, if not better, give him, give him time. Mommy is a movie that will affect most people as far as the mother and son relationship goes. And it doesn't feel forced, it doesn't feel unauthentic, it doesn't feel superficial, but it feels deep and genuine. And most directors really can't get that out of their movies, let alone write it. And I think Xavier Delon is one of those directors that people will definitely hear about sooner or later. And you know what, this is a foreign film, and this movie is two and a half hours long, but yet, I don't feel bored by it because I am genuinely invested into the story and into the movie as a whole. And for a movie to have subtitles, that's not easy to do, and that's why I think it goes to the credit for his excellent writing as well. Now, the only flaw I would say I would have this movie, I would say there are times where it wanted to end or should have ended, but other than that, that's a very, very minute flaw that I have in the movie, but other than that, this movie is really, really good. So with that being said, I'm going to give 
Mommy, four and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. And I gave it four and a half out of five stars, but if I watch it again, I can probably nudge my score up to five out of five. Just need to be watched a little more. But for now, I'm gonna keep my score the way it is. But it's a definitely enjoyable movie nonetheless. And if you haven't seen any of Xavier Delon's works, definitely check him out. Most of his movies are on Netflix now. Check out I Killed My Mother, Heartbeats, and Lawrence Anyways. So if you like strong writing, strong characters, and relationships, definitely check out his movies because you will not be disappointed because he knows how to get all three at the same exact time. So guys, if you've seen uh, Mommy or if you've seen any of Xavier Delon's work, comment below and let me know what's your favorite um, Xavier Delon movie. And as always guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.